Hi and welcome to another Cisco ASA 5506 Configuration Basics video. OK, as you can see, I'm trying to access the firewall from the prompt and for some reason the enable password is not working and I cannot gain access. Either in a lab or working out in the field, this is a problem that you will face at some point. So let me explain how we access the ASA firewall in the event we do not know the enable password. For the following process you are going to need physical access to the ASA firewall Plus, you're going to need a laptop with a terminal client installed, a console cable, and you're going to have to open a terminal session uh, while connected to the console port of the ASA. OK, I've already connected my laptop to the ASA via the console port using the Cisco Blue rollover cable supplied uh, with most units. And while remaining connected, I now need to pull the power from the ASA to force it to shut down. After I've pulled the power to the ASA, I'm going to wait a few seconds, then I'm going to reconnect the power, forcing the ASA to reload. Keeping an eye on the terminal session as the Cisco ASA reloads, that you will get to a prompt that gives you 10 seconds to either hit the break or escape key to interrupt the boot process. I've hit the escape key which returns me to the ROM on prompt. From here I enter confreg. Entering Confreg leads me to um, a series of questions. Right, I want to answer yes to change the configuration. I want to uh, answer no to disable password recovery. No to display uh, break prompt. Yes to ignore system configuration. No to auto boot. No to change console board rate, no to specific image, and no to do I want to make any more changes. Finally, I enter the boot command, which reloads the Cisco ASA um, by answering yes to enable ignore the system configuration. Upon startup, the Cisco ASA will ignore um, any configuration that it finds and will basically start up as if it was brand new out of the box. Once the ASA finishes reloading, it will return me to the prompt from where I can enter the enable command. There's no password because there's no configuration. Conf T, where I'll be asked to enable um, anonymous error reporting, which I answer no to. Right. Show run. As you can see, there's no configuration because it ignored the configuration on starting up. But show start reveals the original startup configuration that was configured on the ASA before we reset the password. So what we need to do is do a copy start config to running config. Copy start to run. Uh, we need to change the enable password to something we know. We also need to reset the config register. We need to save the configuration by doing a write to memory. 
and now we're going to reload the ASA. Once the ASA is reloaded, I should be returned to the prompt where I can enter the new enable password, the one we just set. So enable, I need to enter the password that we set earlier. Yep, as you can see, I've uh, gained access. Show run, yep, it's got the configuration there. Everything seems to be fine. What I can do is just exit again, test the password just to show that it uh, really has changed. So I need to enter the correct password. Yep, and as you can see, we've uh, gained entry and that brings us to the end of this uh, session. So if you enjoyed it, better still, if you learnt from it, then please subscribe. Until the next time, bye for now.